Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here with HD Alex Films, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new iOS 7 control center that was uh, released in iOS 7 back in September. Apple has integrated this cool new feature into their new iOS 7 operating system when they have decided to put a simple panel that is about three inches of your screen that allows you to do many many features on your iOS device. This is a really really cool feature because it allows you to control many options just using this simple panel. So I'm just going to be showing you guys there's five buttons on the top that do different actions such as turn on and off airplane mode, turn on and off Wi-Fi, turn on and off Bluetooth, turn the do not disturb mode on or off and even adjust your lock um, orientation on your iPod touch fifth generation and do all that. Um, this is also really cool because they did integrate a brightness slider that does work this time and it is control your brightness. They also put in a music slider just like iOS 6 and 5's uh, operating or a little center in the back. Uh, they have one when you slide to unlock and do all that stuff. But this is much easier access. As you guys see the slider also works with the finger and the volume button. They have added this all new feature called AirDrop which I will do a separate video about but you can share all the documents on your phone or iPod Touch with any other iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch running iOS 7. Now on the, there's four buttons on the bottom that do control many features such as the flashlight which they have put in. Uh, really cool thing to do because I use it all the time if I go down in the middle of the night somewhere. There's also a timer app which they integrated in here that opens up the clock for a timer. The calculator, they also put an app in there and they also put a feature for the camera. So now you can open up the camera, which I don't see why you wh why they would do that because you can just go from your home screen and go into camera. It's not really a big deal. But anyways, this is a really cool feature to have, especially when you're on the go and you know, you're too lazy to do this. Now, let's go ahead and use Tweetbot for an example because when you're inside an app just like Tweetbot, you can even access the control center just from there. You don't even have to be on the home screen. You can access the control center from pretty much anywhere you would like because this is how Apple made it this is a really really cool feature that I think is awesome I use it daily and for daily purposes such as the flashlight every time I go check something at night and it is all all the time useful this is one of those apps that you just have to have on iOS 7 anyways guys thanks for watching this guys if you guys like more of my videos be sure to subscribe to my channel like my like my videos bye guys talk to my next one peace